hey guys what's up welcome back to the channel um got some uh unboxing to do today so we're gonna unbox the dji uh goggles these are the v2s and then we have the cadex uh vista kit here this is the nebula nano v2 in black um so got one of these uh apexes already set up onto it as you can see it's back here in the back uh everything's ready to go flown with it already flies great the range and all is really good i got a video up already on my channel so um yeah hey we got it in this guy here so let's go ahead and uh unbox these guys all right so first of all is you have a seal you have to cut there pop this guy open my seal was already cut i've already been in these but i want to show you guys what's in the box and put your thumb in there and pull that out okay with that you're gonna have i'm doing all this one hand so kind of bear with me <laughs> can't get you guys too close up on there neither because i know what'll happen okay so this is the battery uh, let's go ahead and tear into that okay there you go the battery works just like any DJI drone would. Press once and then press and hold. Okay, I did it wrong. Once and then press and hold. And that's weird, it's not working like that. Huh. Maybe it won't turn on when you don't have nothing into it. Um, Here's what's supposed to happen. And you see how it then powers up. And the same for turning it off. Once, twice. A short press and then press and hold. I don't know why this one's not doing that. Let's plug in the cord. There it is. So see, just learned something. So if you don't have a cord plugged in, you see that the battery gets unplugged. Ah, figuring things out already. Check that out. I guess so it doesn't turn itself on and just keep redoing it. Anyway, so there's the battery form. That is a, uh, I should have probably brought the glasses out to see this. So I'm not going to lie to you. I can't see that. It's tiny, tiny. Sorry about that. So then you have your cable, your data cable, because you have to flash the goggles and the module through the DJI Assistant V2 FPV series. Okay, so that's your cable for that. This is going to be your cable for your goggles. Same one I just showed you here that we unplugged from the other set there. Uh, what else we got in here? Okay, I'm going to have some antennas. I always say Tana, that's funny. Antenna, right? Instead of antenna. <laughs> my criticism so uh okay we got four of those because we all know the goggle holds four antennas all right we got that what else we got in here oh there's something else in here let's get these out of the way so it'll stop rolling around when we're rolling the floor I lose one on the bottom underneath the deck um this is going to be your uh strap your head strap kind of will go like this and that goes over your head as you can see we're not going to be utilizing that because I have a pyro drone one I don't like over the head type thing um, these are Shane's he likes over the head this is kind of what that one looks like so I'm gonna be doing like the style set up the normal fat shark style okay so, uh, look at that. That's the strap, the OG. Then they give you a bag that you can put them in. Now, I've learned that you can't put them in the bag with your antennas attached. You have to take them off to put them in the bag. Okay. So, what else is in the box? Looks like we're going to have some kind of literature. Okay, and if this video is long, I'm okay with that. I hope you guys have time to watch it. 
So this is going to give you the full rundown of everything. You could probably scan that. It'll get you to buy it or show you the wiring of it and whatnot. There's the drone. I don't plan on getting a drone. I know I said I didn't plan on getting the goggles, but what happened with Analog for Life? Well, that's my Analog Life die, and I woke, awoke with DJI V2s on my face. So, I don't know. You never know how things go. Taste of candy. Like the liquor. Huh? <laughs> Alright. So, what else is in the box? Oh, that's what's in the box. Now something else to show you with these. That's tight to get out of the box too. Okay, never did this before. So let me set this down. I always grab them like we should. There we go. And we got them out of the box. Okay, so there they are. You guys are instantly probably noticing something different. The foam, right? Let me show you the difference in the foams. That. Or this. You see the you see the thickness difference? Versus this. Or you got this. This is if you have a Fordo face. No. You see how it is? See how thin it is? So for my fat face, just didn't work. These did better. But you still got light leakage back here. This is going to really fill that void. Now I do have to modify this. Cut it off here and here. And then put it across the nose there. No worries. You have to do that with DJI goggles. I've learned this. I was upset in the beginning. And kind of like, what the screw? What Screw that. That's stupid. You know, da, da, da. But no, it's something you have to do. Everybody's face is different from what I learned. So I went ahead and installed that foam. Um... I have to tell you something that's serious with these. When you get your goggles, these came straight from uh, Gaul Dong, Dang, something like that. I'm probably messing that up, but uh, they came from over there. And um, so when I picked the goggle up last night to put the foam on it, I was like, what the hell was that noise? Rolled over again. I was like, huh. I could hear like a screw inside of here. You know, when they were laying face down, you could hear the screw rolling around in here. And I was like, shit, that sounds like something loose in there. So, you know, I popped out just the screw here and the screw here. Took it off and sure enough, there was a screw like such inside the goggle. So I went ahead and removed it. I'm glad I found it before I powered them up because that would have been a problem, obviously. And nothing is rattling now. And they're solid. They're tight. I did do a power up just to check and make sure. So... But anyway, back to the unboxing. So when you get these guys, <clears throat> um, the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to screw on your antennas because I'm going to tell you something that I was told, and we all know this anyway. You never power nothing up without the antenna. It's always just safe to do it. I don't care if it's a receiver, transmitter. It's always the safeness of doing this, okay? That way you know you're good. You don't have to worry about it and all. So anyway, um when you get them this is the first thing you're going to do is put your antenna on antennas because there's multiples um all right right that choose your face mask whether it's going to be uh like i showed you the, the, the um modded one the og one whether this is the og one whether you're going to have this one or the other one I showed you on the other goggles, or this one. That's that's your three ones. Um, then figure out which strap you're gonna want. Are you gonna want this style strap, or you're gonna want to go with this style? Okay. This was actually sent in. Pyro drone sent this in uh, when we purchased them ones. But like I said, Shane is more into the. OG strap so I'm not so that worked out and he's like okay you can just go ahead and keep it if you want it but anyway so do you want that strap of course we have to tighten this bad boy up some my head is big but it's not that big so do you want that style strap head strap obviously we're talking or that style so that's how you can do it like I said this has got the Think of a gas mask. Have you ever had a gas mask on? That's what you got going on here. This is about your average goggle. Okay. 
Let's set them back over there. Set these over here. Let's turn them around because that sun is behind my back and we don't want that shining in the lens. Never let them shine in the lens. Okay. Anyway, after that is done, you're going to take this cord. You're going to download the DJI Assistant V2 FPV series and you're going to take this cord and plug into over here on the goggles and you're going to power everything on and then plug it into the PC and as soon as you plug in you're going to see it pops up and it's going to go ahead and run all through the update on everything on these make sure you have charged your battery as you can see if I press that it's got two bars so I'll give this a good charging before we do that so you have to do that you have to activate the goggles and you have to activate the unit now if you guys don't know we can pull this out so you can see as well what we got going on here so I did steal a cable out of this one because I did have a crash with one so far but this is the unit and this is the camera I can't get my fat fingers in these things it usually has 12 centimeter cable run across there um, there we go like this cable hooks here your antenna hooks here this guy everything comes in this unit that you need so price $569 $135 for this it's a setup um, real easy setup binding process power uh, your goggles on then there's a bind button right here you want to press right here see that red button press down just a hold a second you'll hear the goggles start beeping when you hear that start beeping right over here is a button it's very hard to see but you'll feel it you just press that button everything starts talking to each other they start talking and you start seeing video then you have a process of going in and setting all that up so we'll do a video of all that and show you guys what that is so that is the unboxing of the DJI V2 goggles along with the difference in the foams and the thickness of the foams from the OG to the middle one and this is the third I like to look at them as three you know this this and that because you can buy this at pyro drone um, all over the place this one seems to be pretty much at bang goods or right from DJI theirself so that's where these came from straight from DJI these came from pyro so there it is that's the unboxing of that the Cadex Vista the, the unit so you can see what's in there what goes on like I said it's just a 12 centimeter 12 centimeter millimeter whatever you want to call that stuff the length from here to there that connects these up very simple pop out the two screws they're just snap right in just lock in same way here take out the screw it locks in I had to steal it to put it in here because I had an accident and a tree went in and it tore the cable this is the cable as you can see it's very flimsy and soft so it tears real easy fiber optics so guys there you have it this isn't too bad 12 minutes or something um thank you for watching and please comment share like and subscribe and we'll catch you guys on another one and uh, stay tuned and you'll see that this guy over here is gonna I got two more of these that I'm gonna put to HD um, you can see I 3d printed the camera piece in there to hold that in there nice and tight it does protrude out just a little bit more than I like, but it is not past the chin guard. So that's a good thing. There's the unit back there. Real easy wiring. You're going to wire it um, right off of here. Power, ground, TX, RX. If you got the DJI transmitter, ground or SBUS and SBUS. So, all right. Thank you guys again for watching, and we'll catch you on the next one.